So you want to learn more about affiliate marketing business and thinking about starting affiliate marketing business? I want to say first of all, congratulations for taking the step to actually get to learn more about affiliate marketing industry. I'm not sure if you know this, affiliate marketing industry actually have a very high income potential. However, I want you to know this, in order for you to be successful in the affiliate marketing business, you must treat this business as a business. Hi, my name is Candace from Create Freedom with Candace.com. In this video, I'm actually go through a few things that you need to look for as a beginner in the affiliate marketing industry so that you could find the program and affiliate program that fit best for you. So let's get started. Now before we get into talking about what program you're going to be looking into, let's talk a little bit about what is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing basically is that you refer customers to a product that somebody else produced. That's basically is you, you, you bring the customer to somebody else and you make a commission as a middle person. First thing, you want to find a product that have high profit margin. Now I'm not saying this in the greedy kind of way, but I want you to remember this. I want you to keep this in mind. For you to find a customer for the product, you have to spend money to find the customer. You spend money on advertising, right? You spend money on uh, doing the work, the activity, the online. Right? So in order for you to actually make money, you might as well find something that actually will pay you uh, with a higher part margin so that you could pay off those work that you do. You could pay off the advertisement. You know, we are looking at paying five to $10 per customers when you're running an ad. So you want to find something that's a mid or high profit margin product as a beginner. And also you want to actually find something that kind of break even on your very first sell. So what that means is that you probably want to find a product that they have upsell. What that means is that you know we have you have you drive your traffic to the funnel and when they opt in they buy one product and they like the, what they're seeing and then there's more offer for them to buy uh, to, to buy it's a higher product so that they could continue buying so that you with one customer you could actually make all of your investment back in one sales. So make sure you find something that have upsells right so that they could have they could buy the customer could buy now this product is something that your customers is actually looking for and they could actually buy all of them in one place and they will actually be happy with it so make sure you find a product that has upsell in affiliate marketing industry there are different type of product that you could sell to be affiliate and make commission based off it you could actually start doing a a physical product. Now, physical products such as I don't know nutrition nutrition program or uh, a, a, a exercise equipment, a computer, uh, a techy stuff, right? Those are physical, that tangible product. Now, those are physical, tangible product. You normally do not make a lot of profit off back because the person. The, the, the person who actually has the product, they don't make a lot of money because of all of this producing and all of this advertising and all of this uh, creating and everything else. You really don't make a lot of profit when it comes to physical product. On Amazon, you could actually uh, become an affiliate with Amazon and you could actually promote the physical product. But here's the thing, because of all of this, out of fees and everything into it, you're looking at making a single digit com commission somewhere between four to 8% with Amazon. And Amazon have a very complicated uh, uh, breakdown on how affiliate could get paid and why the commission is so low. Now you have the digital product. What is a digital product? A digital product could be an app, could be a training program, could be a fitness program. Now the reason why to market a digital product could give you higher profit margin is because because yes, the person who actually produced the product, they did invest initial time and energy into creating the product, but they only need to do it once. And after that, they could sell it ongoing. So they basically making a hundred percent of profits. So all you need to do is drive traffic to buy that digital product. And because they don't have to redo it all over again, every single time someone purchases it. So the profit margin is much higher. You could looking at selling a digital product anywhere between 30 to 50% margin. All right. So as a beginner, I said, 
digital mark a digital product is the way to go now when you're looking into a affiliate marketing company want to partner up with affiliate marketing company make sure you're looking into a company that can actually give you a very simple breakdown of your commission because you don't want something complicated you want to look at all right, if I sell this product, what is the percentage of uh, commission do I get? That, that is it 30%, 50%? What it is that you are getting back? So make sure you're looking for something that's simple and easy to understand the commission uh, plan, okay? One of the things that you definitely want to look at is that the company that you are going into, are they speaking um, to the potential prospect? potential customers that you're speaking to, right? Are they, sell, are they solving the problem that your potential uh, customers um, have, right? So the marketing that they have, it has to be great. Do they have a good funnel? Do they have a good video that it's professional video? It doesn't look like somebody's suited with their cell phone in the kitchen, in the backyard, right? You want to look for something that that's professionally done. Do they have a good copywriting that actually make your customers to say, you know what, this could solve my problem. Those are very, very important. Another things that you want to look into is that in this affiliate marketing industry, do they have a good funnel? A funnel is actually um, potentially you drive traffic to them and you would have the funnel to take the customer closer and closer to a sales process. Do they have a funnel that actually walks your customer through so that they could cl be closer to make a, a sell to, to make a purchase, right? And you want to also look into, do they have an upsell? Upsell meaning, you know, once they purchase one thing, do they have another way to make the customer to buy a higher ticket that could actually help them to solve their problem? Another thing is that, do they have downsells, right? We have the upsell that costs more money than the initial buy, but do they have a downsell that actually offers something small that actually still help your potential customers? So with a good funnel, it could do magic, but if the funnel is not done right, the funnel is not good, it will damage your whole sales process. So that's another thing is looking into the funnel. Do they have a good funnel? Now you want to look into all of this thing that the marketing, the company putting together, does this marketing package help to drive your cold traffic to the sale? Now what is a cold traffic? If you are new to this industry and you don't know what cold traffic is, cold traffic is basically a stranger that they looking for something and your link has to happen to pop up and they go into it. So you want to have a marketing package that actually lead your cold market, someone who's a stranger to be comfortable to make that purchase. And that require a lot of work. That require a lot of good copywriting that speak to that um, customers. Now keep in mind that once your customer buy whatever product that they're buying, you know, it's easier for you to keep a customer and keep them happy and have them continue buying from you than going out there to look for new customer every single day. So you want to also look into in this company, whatever company that you partner up with, do they have continual program that could satisfy your customer's needs so that they could continue stay in the program and continue buying from the company. So that's something that you definitely want to look into. Another thing, if you're a beginner in affiliate marketing, one of the things that you definitely want to look into is that you want to look for a company who actually does most of the work for you. You know, on top of everything, on the marketing package there, that's a lot of things that you have to do, right? If you are a beginner, those are a lot of work and you actually may or may not equip to do all of those work at the beginning. Now also, you want to know that the company, do they have the funnel set up? Do they have the marketing set up? So if you're a beginner in affiliate marketing, you, you'll probably ask, so what type of program should I get into? I definitely recommend to get into a program that actually teach you how to become an affiliate marketer right? <laughs> it's, it's true. You know, a lot of times, a lot of program they set up and you could, and so that you could become an affiliate market marketer, but they don't teach you how to become a good affiliate marketer. And 
you know, just like Amazon, they spend a lot, you know, Amazon, you could become an affiliate marketer with Amazon, but they don't teach you how to become an Amazon uh, affiliate, right? We start building the fancy website and, and learn all of this and then putting all of this work into and spend a lot of money in advertising or building a website whatsoever. After putting all of this money and energy into it, you're not making the money because you don't know how to become an affiliate marketer and marketer. Right. So you definitely, you know, if you are the beginner and you want to learn how to build an affiliate marketing business, I would highly suggest you to become to, to actually uh, get a program that actually teaches you how to become an affiliate marketer while you're promoting their program. And which is why I highly recommend you to check out my number one recommendation program in the comment in the uh, description below because that the company actually teaches you how to become an affiliate, right? Walk you through everything to become a successful affiliate marketer. Another thing that you definitely want to look into as a beginner in the affiliate marketing industry is to find a company that does most of the work for you. And all you need to do is to learn how to drive traffic, how to generate leads into your business. Basically, learn how to bring people into the business and the company does most of the work for you. So you want to look into the company that you partner up with. Do they have a sales funnel that's already done for you that you could actually start promoting on the day one? Do they have a follow-up series do they have people follow up do they have a follow-up series email system that uh, the company actually sent out without you knowing how right and also do they have an ongoing training program for the people who actually join to the business so all of those things are you, you got to have those things in place if you're new and if you be, you're a beginner in a affiliate marketing business again in the, the, the number one recommendation that I have for the affiliate marketing business, it has everything, all of those that I have mentioned. And you all you need to do is concentrating on driving traffic so that the company does most of the work for you. And all you need to learn is drive traffic. Of course, the last thing that you know you want to know is how do you make money in affiliate marketing business, right? To make money in affiliate marketing business, if you would go in with a program that they have done for you system that you don't have to worry about creating your own sales funnel, it actually teaches you how to do all of this. Your number one job is to actually drive traffic, meaning bringing people to the company, to the, the sales funnel, so that they could actually start buying. And the company actually is the one that's doing most of the work for you. So your job is to actually put the product in front of your people. It, you could do it in Facebook ad, a Google ad, or Twitter, Instagram, wherever social media platform that you're in. And all you need to do is to bring those people into the company and the company actually do all of the sales for you. So there you have it. Those are the things that you definitely want to look out for when you start an affiliate marketing uh, business. You know, again, my number one recommendation of affiliate marketing business to start off is that in the description, it includes everything that, that I just mentioned. And also, Keep in mind when you're starting a affiliate marketing business, whatever industry that you're in, whatever company that you partner up with, keep this in mind. People will be more motivated if they know exactly what they need to do and they don't have to do a whole lot and still making uh, a lot of money. You want to find a company that teaches you how to do most of the thing, but also does most of the things for you. With that being said, this is Candace from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com and I will see you next time.